Today on Nerd Out, Cardano Math. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about Cardano Math and how math works on Cardano. So let's get into it. So, first of all, computer math, integers. Integers are whole numbers in the computer. They're very easy, they're fast, and they're exact. Um, integers go right into the binary of the computer. They can be manipulated very easy, very quickly. Integers do get a little bit trickier once they get larger than can fit, fit in the various architecture of the machine, whether that's 32 bits, 64 bits, 128 bits, depending on the platform. Uh, most computer languages have some type of big integer library to represent really large integers beyond those, you know, like 64-bit limits. And in cryptography, we usually deal with very, very large in integers. So we can use various big in integer math libraries in Haskell, Rust, C++, .NET Go, JavaScript, etc., and we can assume that all those answers are going to be exactly accurate because integer math is exact. It typically does not involve any rounding of things. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about other types of math, usually involving a decimal point. So in most computer programs, it uses what's called IEEE 754 floating point math. This is decimal-based math where there's a decimal point um, Essentially, how it's stored in the computer is with three parts. It has a significand, which is like the integer representation of the number. Then it has some base and an exponent. Uh, this example here on the screen is showing base 10. Typically in the computer, this is base 2 for binary. But just to show you kind of how it works, in this example, 12.345 could be represented as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the integer times 10 to the negative third. That moves that decimal place three positions to the left because we're printing this as a base 10 number. Um, but that is how computer, computer math works. It's very fast. It's designed to be fast, but it will accumulate rounding errors. So for example, you might add these two numbers and it may be rounded off and you know, you'll lose some precision the longer you go or the more complex things you do. So as you can imagine, for a computer program that's trying to reach consensus, you need to make sure that all the programs implementing a given algorithm for floating point math or for decimal math are exact and, and operate the exact same way. So how Cardano math works is a little bit different. Uh, consensus on Cardano involves a number of math functions that do use real numbers, in other words, having decimals. Uh, a few examples of this are the exponential function, the natural log function, the log function. If you have a rounding error on Cardano and you have multiple nodes trying to reach consensus, this could be catastrophic. So like if you're trying to run one node on, let's say, an AMD processor and another on an Intel processor or one on um, an, an ARM architecture or uh, some other architecture. Um, this would be catastrophic as they may get different answers to something you're trying to, to ask the question. Like, did this stake pool, is this stake pool allowed to create a block in this slot? Uh, that's the kind of answer you need everybody to agree on. And so rounding errors could be catastrophic if the Haskell node produ produces even a slightly different answer than, let's say, a Rust node like Amaru does. And this would result in an unintentional hard fork, which is what you really don't want. So the Amaru nodes would run off in one direction, happily building their chain. The Haskell nodes would run off in their direction, happily building their, their chain. So this is something that's really important as we move into... Uh, an eventual state of having more than one node implementation. So Cardano solves this by using fixed precision decimal arithmetic. 
Um, this is the same thing as you learned in school, you know, that you would do the arithmetic on paper. You can be very, very accurate, but inside of a computer, because it requires you to implement more numbers to represent one number, it's a, it's a bit slower. Uh, various other things like accounting systems, banks, um, I think some spreadsheets can use this type of, of decimal arithmetic. Um, so on Cardano, we also want it to be not only accurate, but fast. So there's a number of shortcuts that have been built into the Cardano node to say, here's a particular algorithm, let's say for this example is natural log. We don't need it to be perfectly accurate, but we need it to be accurate enough. And we need every single implementation to get the exact same answer without dealing with any of this floating point um, inaccuracies. And so essentially these Cardano functions in math will allow the program to calculate it down to a certain accuracy and then exit out, always using the exact same values for rounding. And so any program that implements these algorithms can then get the same uh, the same answers as the Cardano Haskell node. Uh, so currently these functions, they only exist in the Haskell node. So what can we do about that? Let's talk about Amaru. So you may have heard about Amaru. Um, it's a future implementation of a Cardano node using the Rust language. Rust is known to be very secure, reliable, and fast. It's not quite as easy to implement things in a scientific way. Um, but that's kind of where the, the Haskell node shines. The Rust node it, it will have a different audience. And if you want to learn more about that, you can go to pragma.io. This is a, a group of different companies and labs, et cetera, that have come together that say, we're all going to help and work on this uh, Amaru node. So in order to achieve the goals, Amaru is going to need many different building blocks for example, like Cardano Math, rebuilt in Rust and be perfectly accurate so that it can reach consensus with the Haskell nodes that are out there. So how are we going to achieve that? At IOG, the Haskell node, they've provided what they call golden tests. So these are tests that run through a ton of math calculations so that if you can also implement these same golden tests with your math library, you can be very, very sure that your math, for example, on the Rust side is consistent with the Haskell nodes math. And that will ensure that both those nodes can reach consensus with each other. So I've started implementing some of these math functions in the TX Pipe Palace math project. Um, maybe they'll live there forever. Maybe they'll eventually move into Amaru. I don't know, um, but it's something I've just kind of worked on on the side. So while these things are eventually useful for Amaru, I also have another reason for working on this is that CNCLI currently doesn't use the Haskell math. It used good enough math and it's been good enough to be accurate and, and very accurate as far as leader logs are concerned. But I can't guarantee that it's perfectly accurate. And so what I wanna do is move to using this new uh, Palace math library, and then we can guarantee that the results produced by CNCLI will be exactly the same as what is produced by the Cardano Haskell node itself. And so that's just a little something I've been working on. I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it piqued your interest. Check out pragma.io. And with that, nerd out.